The recent Shanghai Auto Show has seen several up-and-coming designs from Chinese automakers. One of the most astonishing designs was the two-seater flying car from Xpeng. Xpeng, the Chinese EV maker, introduced two new things at the Shanghai Auto Show this year. One was the P5 sedan, and the other was this flying car. The flying car from Xpeng has currently been given no name, but several sources are referring to it as the Xpeng Hitech. In today's video, we'll be looking at how this flying vehicle will try to revolutionize the way we travel in cities and all the other companies trying to do the same. Before we dive into the video, how about liking or following us if you haven't done so already? That way you won't miss any of our updates. Also, we like your comments, so keep them coming. Not only do you get your voice heard, but we also learn one or two things about how we can serve you better. The project is no ordinary prototype from Xpeng. The company has been going head-on into this project and hopes to launch it on a large scale very soon. Xpeng not only wants to dominate the Chinese roads, but also the Chinese skies. One thing that the company will have to focus very deeply on is the cost of owning and operating this flying vehicle. This is important as Xpeng will have to compete with the cost of owning and operating a helicopter. Helicopters are already being widely used for the same purpose Xpeng has made a vehicle for. What makes the helicopters less useful is the fact that they're very costly and impractical at times. Specs The flying vehicle from Xpeng is powered by eight turbofans and can reach altitudes between 5 and 25 meters. It has a seating capacity of up to two passengers. This is the second design released by the company. We will discuss the first design later on in the video. The speed of operation for the vehicle is not yet known, but the company is trying to make it as feasible as possible for day-to-day -day use. 10,000 Safety Tests Xpeng has been working extensively to make this project a reality. Much of the refining process has been done for the project. Xpeng has undergone over 10,000 safety tests on the flying vehicle before it unveiled the final project at the Shanghai Auto Show this year. Overall Look The flying vehicle made by Xpeng does have a very striking look that will be recognized anywhere. It is a two-seater flying automobile that shares the resemblance with a snowmobile. This also shares some styling cues with helicopters. It is not too shocking that it looks like a helicopter, because most of the functionality is quite similar to a helicopter. Xpeng has drastically changed the styling of the project as compared to the older version of the same project. Feasibility and Practicality The biggest question on everyone's minds is the feasibility of the whole project. Xpeng believes that the project is indeed very practical and feasible. The company hopes to use flying vehicles as an advanced mode of transport within cities. Xpeng does not consider it to be just a flashy prototype made to amaze the audience for a single time. The CEO of the company stated that it will be available for public test drives shortly, hopefully next year. Separate Company the vice chairman and president of Xpeng, Brian Gu, has stated that Xpeng is fully invested in making the project a reality. For the same purpose, the company has started a separate company to undertake all the relevant responsibilities. Xpeng will infuse the present EV technology with the products of the separate company to make the car of the future. The company is called Xpeng High Tech and their personal aircraft, KiwiGoGo T1. China Low Altitude Economy Xpeng representatives are optimistic that there will be a great future for this project and all similar ones. China has massive growth potential in the sector of low altitude flying vehicles. There are a lot of traffic congested related problems in the country that can be solved if the government gives the green light to low altitude flying. Xpeng has its eyes set on releasing its product for the large scale markets, but first, it plans to see the public reaction by letting hobbyists fly the vehicle. There are endless applications for the vehicle, but the company has decided to look at all those later on in the coming future. Starting with hobbyists is a very good decision by the company, 
as getting customers to enjoy the service first is a safer option. It would have been riskier if the company allowed various commercial uses of the technology at the very beginning. Starting with hobbyists will give the company a chance to work out the shortcomings of the designs and then refine them before large-scale usage. Future Applications The future applications for the Xpeng flying vehicle are endless. Commercial transport will be revolutionized once the technology is used on a large scale. People will be able to use it as a taxi for transportation to different parts of the same city. It could also be used to travel quickly from one city to another. Currently, people have the option to use helicopters for this same purpose, but that becomes very impractical. The costs of operating a helicopter are very high, and a lot of relevant infrastructures are needed. Other air transportation applications that require a helicopter can also be shifted towards the flying vehicle by Xpeng. Emergencies can be dealt with a high amount of ease and time-saving by using this flying vehicle. Operating helicopters can be a nuisance at times. Once again, the costs of operating a helicopter are way higher than the costs this flying vehicle is expected to have. The Xpeng flying vehicle can also be used for sightseeing as well. Once again, it is something that is currently being done with the help of helicopters. Hence, Xpeng has the chance to be a total game changer. Older One Seat Model This is not the first flying vehicle designed by Xpeng. The company has made a prior one seater design for the flying vehicle. Apart from the one seat, the previous design also had a very distinguishing factor. It did not resemble a car as much as the new design does. The previous prototype seemed to resemble a drone more. It looked like an oversized flying drone that has a pod built in it that can carry a human being. That design also resembles a helicopter to a very large extent. However, it did not have the tail of a helicopter. Other Competitors Xpeng is not the only one in the game to make flying vehicles. It's not even the only one in the game in China. Ehang is widely known and has been featured on our channel. But even Ehang is not the only competitor. Geely, an automobile company from China, has been working on a similar project for some time now. Geely also acquired the German aircraft maker Volocopter to give it much needed industry experience. The car maker also acquired the aircraft corporation Terrafugia in the year 2017. This helped Geely get an aircraft license from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, the FAA, in January 2021. BYD, another Chinese automaker, has also stated that it will work on this site to minimize street congestion. However, the company is currently more focused on road transportation. Outside China, Hyundai and Lilium from Germany are also working on airborne vehicles that can be used to lift passengers into the sky. On-Road and In-Air EV Xpeng might not be finished just yet. There are chances that the company may come up with another design shortly. The company is focused on developing vehicles that can both drive on roads and also fly in the sky. Xpeng is expected to come up with a concept that may be able to do this very soon. Xpeng certainly does not plan to limit it to the roads of China, but plans to be seen in the air. Its most recent design will be able to carry up to two people in the sky. What is important about it is whether it will be used for everyday travel or not. This might turn out to be something out of the reach of ordinary people. Will Xpeng be able to finish and release its product on a wide scale? Or will Xpeng not even be allowed to release the flying vehicle due to regulatory problems? These and more questions will be asked very soon, so stay tuned as we bring you the hottest news from the EV world.